in this video we will discuss the problem license key formatting the problem says that will be given a string s that consists of only alphanumeric characters and dashes the string is separated into n plus 1 groups by n dashes also given an integer k so we are given an integer k here so we want to reformat the strings we want to reform the string in such a way that each group contains exactly k characters so after reforming the str uh, string every group should contain k, k characters but there is one exception the except exception is that for the first group it uh, first group can be ha can have lesser than k characters but the first group should have at least one character okay furthermore there must be a dash inserted in between these groups uh, and you should convert all the lower case to upper case and you have to return the reformatted string so let's say we have been given this particular test case here so if we have been given a test case let's let's say which looks like 7f then 5f 3z 2e 9w and the k value is given as 4 so if you try to make the groups normally then what you will do you will try to take characters from the starting you will try to make the groups complete groups from the starting so you will take 7f then you will take 5f right so this will make first group then you will take 3z then you will take 2e okay you will take 3z and then you will take 2e and after that you will take 9w okay so now if you try to see so the first group is this the second group is this and this is the third group so if you will see the first group is complete the second group is complete because it is having the first group is having the size as k that is 4 second group is having the size as k that is 4 but the third group is not complete so third group becomes incomplete which is not allowed which is not allowed here because the only group that can have size lesser than k is the first group and no other group can do that but if we try to take it from the start if we try to take if we try to make the complete groups of size k from the starting in that case it might happen that the last group might not be equal of size k because if the number of characters in the given string is not a multiple of k in that case you can see because if if here total 10 different characters are given right you can see total 10 characters are there k value is 4 so obviously i'll be able to make only two complete groups and one incomplete group of size 2 so in this case what should i do so i should use the ex exemption here now what is the ex exemption that is given the exemption exemption is that the first group should be of uh, can be of size lesser than k but all the other groups should be of size k so in that case what i can try to do is i can try to make it from the backwards i can try to complete the groups from the backwards direction that is from the right to left so if i see so the group that will be formed is 2e 9w obviously i'll be uh, converting the characters into the upper case then after that the group that will be formed is 5f 3z and then after that the group that will be there is let's say 7f so let's write it like this let's say it was 7 and then it was f so the group will be 7 and f okay now if you see so this last group if is of size k this last group is also of size k that is k is equal to 4 after that this particular group the first group is of size lesser than k but but i was given that the first group can be of less than size k okay the first group should have at least one character and it can be it can have characters lesser than k so it is having two characters only which will be fine so now if we see if we try to develop the groups from the backward direction if we try to uh, develop the uh, groups the complete groups of size k from the backward direction from the right to left direction in that case we are able to complete all these groups and the first group might be complete or the first group might not be complete and if the even if the first group is not complete even then it is fine because if the first group is uh, having size lesser than k but it is having at least size 1 and it is uh, if it is having size lesser than k then we can still afford it because in the question it says that the first group can be incomplete as well it can have size lesser than k so this will be a valid part so now how did we do this so basically what we did was we iterated and we checked kept on checking the size so if you will see what we did was we iterated from iterated from the back so we iterated from here now if we see there is a character here so we will keep a counter so counter will be initially marked as 0 counter will tell us about the group of the uh, like about the size of the group the moment the counter reaches equal to uh, counter value equals k in that case we will start forming the new groups okay so we will be at w so we will convert it into capital case so we will mark it as w then we will go to uh, then after that 
will go to 9. So basically we are trying to traverse the string from the backward direction because that is more optimal for us. After that we will be at a dash. So since we are at a dash, so we can ignore it. Then we will go to 9. Okay. So when we were at W, so we uh, increment, we saw a character. So we have incremented uh, the count as 1. Uh, count has been updated by 1. Then we reach 9. So it is a dash. So we will ignore it. Then we reach 9. It is a character. So we will insert it and we will update the number of characters as 2. Okay. After that what we will do is we will move to this particular dash again. So we will up update from A. We will move from A. Now we move to E. The moment we move to E. So in that case the number of characters increases to 3. So after that what we will do is we will increase the like we will increase the count to 3. And we will insert E into the group. After that what we will do is we will move to the next character. So from right moving from right to left we will move to 2 now. So after that we will insert 2 into our answer and the count has been updated to 4. Now you can notice that since the count has been updated to 4. So I need to implement a dash here. Okay. Because uh, count is equal to k. Because count is equal to 4 now. So that means count is equal to k. So I need I need to make the groups one once again. The current group is complete and I need to start making the new groups. Okay. So after that what I will do is I will refresh the counter. And let's say what I will do is when, when I come back like after that. When I reach this particular uh, dash. So in that case, I'll say that, okay, still the counter is 4, no worries. But after that, what will happen when I reach this particular character, then in that case, I'll check. So the counter is now equal to 4. So basically, in that case, what I can do is I can simply say that now I can start my counter from 1. I can count from 1 again. And since this is a particular character, uh, so I'll insert it here. Okay. After that, what I will do is I will go to the next character. So next character is this 3. So I'll increment the count by 1 more. So it will move to 2 and 3 will be inserted. After that, I'll move to 4. So, 4 will be inserted. Then what will happen? I'll move to the next character. So, I'll move to 5. So, 5 will get inserted. After that, what will happen? Uh, I, I will uh, again move forward. So, you can see that the counter gets updated. So, counter got updated to 3. Then it got updated to 4. So, now the count becomes uh, 4. After that, I'll encounter a dash. So, I'll move forward. Okay. Now, what I'll do is I'll get F. So, the moment I get F, so I can see that it is a character and counter is already equal to 4. So, it is already exhausted. So, I need to insert what? I need to insert a dash and I need to say that after this dash, I will have the F value. I will have the F character and I will now mark the counter as 1 again, indicating that, okay, in the current group, there is one character. After that, I will reach a 7. So, when I get a 7, so I will insert 7. Now, what is the scenario? You can see that this is actually the third group, which is of size k. The second group is there. Then this is the first group and the first group is not having the size as k. So since the first group is not having the size as k, still it is affordable. Okay, because the first group can be of size k, but even if it is of not size k, if it, even if it is lesser, so even that is fine. So that is valid for us because that is acceptable in the question. So what will we do? Should we directly return this thing? No, because actually the answer that we have stored, actually now this particular answer that we have stored, it is stored in the reverse format because we were iterating from right to left and then we kept on keep on appending or we keep kept on adding the characters right so in that case what we will do is we will simply reverse this particular string so after reversing what will it look like it will look like 4 7 then it will look like 2 uh, like it will look like s f 3 2 then it will be 2 e 9 w so basically what will happen my string if i reverse it so it will get converted into the exact reformatted string that the question was looking for okay so this is the concept why we are iterating from the river why we are iterating from the back of the string okay why we are iterating from the last character of the string okay because we want the groups from the end we want the groups from the end to be complete but the first group can be complete or it can be incomplete it can be have size lesser than k okay so that is why it is important for us to complete the groups from the back side so that if uh, if anything has to be incomplete that can be the first group only because that is allowed okay now if we talk about this thing so after we have uh, like we kept on storing so after this we can obviously see that answer was stored in the opposite order because we kept on iterating from right to left so in that case what we can do is we can take one more step and we can simply reverse our string okay and that is what we can return and you can notice that the first group can be of size k or it can it can be of size lesser than k and that is totally allowed okay now talking about the time complexity so the time complexity of this approach as you can see will be nothing but order of n because we are simply iterating through the array and generating the string then another order of n will take for reversing okay this is for generating the string then this is for reversing to get the final answer so overall time complexity is order of n Talking about the space complexity, so we are taking extra, we will take extra space, that is extra string we will take 
for generating this particular string so if you consider that then in that case the space complexity will be order of n okay now let us try and write the code quickly for this particular question so what, what will be given is will be given the s value and will be given the k value and we have to basically now reformat the given string okay so we have to form groups of k uh, such that only the last group is allowed to be of size lesser than k so what i'll do is i'll first of all find the size so n is equal to s dot size i'll first of all find the size of the string then what i'll do is i'll have a counter so initialize my counter to zero after this part is done so i will have a string answer so let's quickly declare answer as null if you are using java then you should be using a string builder okay because uh, direct operations on the string will take a lot of time in java okay after this i'll start my iteration from the last character so i start from zero i is greater equal i start from n minus one i is greater equal to zero and i'll do an i minus minus that is i'm iterating from right to left because uh, the concept was that i want to generate the groups i want to complete the groups for, from the end because uh, groups from the end should be complete the first group can be complete or it can be incomplete as well then only the reformatted string will be considered as valid so after this what i'll do is i'll write the if condition that if the ith character is equal equal to a dash so if it's equal to a dash in that case we'll see we can simply skip this particular character okay we can simply continue from here okay otherwise suppose that if it happens that the count if the count of the characters the number of characters it is lesser than k so in that case what i what i need to do if the ith character is a character if the ith uh, uh, character of the string is a character it's not a it's not a dash if it is a character and the count is lesser than k so in that case what i need to do is i need to increment the count as well and i need to add it to my answer i don't need a dash i need to keep on adding it so what i'll do is i'll say that uh, i'll convert this particular ith character into an upper character and i'll simply store it in my answer okay after this is done so suppose that the uh, suppose that the ith character suppose that s of i is a character but what happens now the count is already equal to k so if the count is equal to a then a then in that case as i said i will use us i will use a dash to represent different groups because if you will see if something like this was given let's say 5 uh, let's say r was given then we are uh, given something like 4 f then we were given 6d okay suppose that this was given okay so we are iterating from the back so we first of all get d then b okay so everything will be capital case so first of all we get d then we get uh, 6 then we get f then we get 4 so the count here becomes 4 okay so after that when i see a dash so i'll ignore it then i see a r so when i will see this particular uh, uh, character here so in that case the counter is equal to k suppose that k was 4 so counter is equal to k so in that case what i need to do is i need to say that i need a dash now and then i'll insert this particular uh, character so i'll insert r here and i'll mark the count as one i'll update it to one indicating that the new uh, group that i'm forming it has size one okay that is what i'll be doing so in this case what i'll be doing here is i'll say that okay now let's mark a count as one and then what we'll do is we'll say that okay answer plus uh, answer will get added with the ith string so i'll convert it into the upper case so i'll say that uh, answer uh, plus is equal to s of i okay convert by converting it into the upper case once we are done with this so the only thing that we need to do is we need to reverse the uh, current string because we have generated the answer in the reverse format so we need to reverse it uh, by, we reverse it so that we can get the exact answer from left to right okay once this has been done so we can simply return our answer from it let's try and quickly compile this code to see if it works or not you can see it works on the samples let's try and submit it as well so you can see that the problem gets accepted and i hope that you are clear with the logic why we are iterating from the back because obviously we want to complete the uh, groups from the back side because the first group can be complete or it can be incomplete but the groups from the last they should be complete that is why we are iterating from the back and since we have developed uh, the answer iterating from back so we are just reversing it and returning the answer if you understood this, this simple explanation make sure to hit the like button comment down understood in the video uh, in the comment section and also subscribe the channel as well this problem was asked in google so make sure to submit it thank you for watching this video